Módulo 5. Edward Jenner. We rarely hear that a person has smallpox nowadays, and everyone can be safe from it, for we now have vaccination. But only a century ago, there was always danger of this dreaded disease, which nearly killed all its victims, and doctors hardly knew what to do about it. A long time ago, people in the East had found a way to fight the disease. They found that when a person had a mild case of it, they would inoculate another person from the first and the second one would then be safe or immune from any bad attack. The secret had come to England from Turkey, but nothing much had been done about it. The conquest of this disease is due to Edward Jenner, a country doctor who was born in Gloucester, England in 1749. He had first studied medicine in Sudbury and later in London. Then he went back to the country. This animal and its young owner are immune from a once dreaded disease thanks to the investigations of Edward Jenner. One day a milkmaid told him that she was not afraid of smallpox because she had already had cowpox and everybody knew that if you had either of these you would never have the other. Many milkmaids and country people were sure about that. Jenner thought that there might be something in it so he started to investigate. He studied case histories for about 18 years and discovered that the popular theory was true. Cowpox is a disease that cows used to have and milkmaids would get it from them. He thought that if he could give a person a mild form of cowpox he could save them from the terrible attacks of the smallpox. Of course he met violent opposition when in 1798 Risking his career, he inoculated a boy with cowpox by making a slight cut in his arm and placing in the cut material taken from a sore on the hands of a milkmaid ill with cowpox. The boy developed cowpox. When later he tried to give the boy a smallpox infection, failed to have any effect. After they found the deaths, from smallpox had dropped by two-thirds within two years there was little room for doubt or argument Jenner had conquered one of man's worst foes what he discovered is called vaccination because it comes from the Latin word vaca although he was not the first to inoculate with cowpox he was the first to publish his results and to establish the practice of vaccination on a scientific basis. His work inspired Louis Pasteur and ultimately led to the science of vaccination and immunization and preventive vaccines of the present day. Ahora hay que resolver los ejercicios.